we're going to get after it. I only have two days of work time. Um, technically, this is our spring break from school, so I have this whole week off. Um, however, normally we take a trip with Katie's parents somewhere tropical and warm, and it's great. Uh, this year we're not doing that. Last year we did not do that. So we're sort of having a uh, staycation, if you will. So right now my whole family is up at Katie's parents' house, and so I'm taking two days this week to come down to our house and work on this. So uh, we're gonna start off with the taping of all the joints. And uh, real quick before I we jump into it, I wanna mention the YouTube channel I've been watching. And I've actually been watching them for a long time. Him, I should say, it's just him. Uh, the Vancouver Carpenter, great, great YouTube channel, great resource from a pro who does it for a living and he calls himself the Vancouver Carpenter. It's mainly drywall stuff, and that's probably the jobs he gets and what he specializes in, but he is a carpenter by trade. He is the reason that I think I'll be able to do this decent, okay? So his channels are, or his videos are amazing. I will link his channel down in the description. If you guys are doing a drywall project, um, it is a very challenging task. It is highly... Uh, skill intensive, especially, I mean, not the hanging of the drywall part, but the, the taping and the mudding. Um, there's a lot of nuance to it. There's a lot of feel. Uh, that's kind of one of the things that I gathered from the Vancouver Carpenter was that it's a, it's, it's something you got to do over and over and over again, and you just develop a feel for how to mud and how to feather and how to do all that stuff, how to work with your, your trowels and your blades and your whatever so I'm gonna be following his advice for pretty much this whole uh, deal and so the first thing I'm actually gonna be starting out with is the butt joints a butt joint is a term that is used often in not just drywall but in woodworking and it's basically when two pieces are put together just flat to flat drywall is nothing but butt joints and so there are two kinds of butt joints that you're gonna be getting Number one is a factory edge butt joint. So factory edges are dimpled so that when you put them together, you have a little valley to put mud in and that way you can get a very flat surface. Now, ideally you'd have all of your joints be that sort of dimpled surface, but because of the nature of, of just your hanging drywall, you're gonna have uh, non-factory non butt joints, which is just gonna be like this. And so what he recommends is that you pre-fill all of the butt joints. Pre-fill all the butt joints with joint compound so that over time it doesn't crack. And so what you actually go through, and this is what I'm gonna do first, is you go through and you bevel all of the edges so that you get a little bit of a valley, just like the factory edge. But then what you do is you're gonna shove joint compound in between those joints so that you can, over time, resist the the cracking and the movement that naturally occurs when um, when you leave it. So I'm gonna go through and do that first and then I'm gonna tape every joint and cover up all the screws. That's my goal for today. And, and then on the second day that I'm coming down this week, my brother-in-law is gonna come and help me and we're gonna attack this room and try and get all of the feathering done. Okay, let's, uh, let's get after it. All right, so one thing I've been having trouble with lately is uh, razor blades for utility knives going dull really fast. So I'm gonna try these guys out today. Lennox Gold Titanium Edge Utility Blades. They've got this uh, really cool gold edge. That must be the titanium. So uh, we'll see how this goes and I'll report back Already there's a knock against them because I cannot put the extra in my storage here of my utility knife and so that's very frustrating. Um, they just won't stay in there. Um, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like I really have them in there all the time anyway. Um, if you don't know about this utility knife, this is by far my favorite style of utility knife. It is, <clears throat> as you can see, it slides up and out, which is very nice and convenient. But the best thing about it 
is the quick release mechanism and it has not failed me yet and I've been using this thing for years now um, there's a little thumb press and you pull back on it and then the thing just comes out and then you can flip it and put it back in it makes for very very fast very quick convenient blade changes which is in my case happens frequently hopefully not so much with these new blades I will let you know how they turn out but Highly recommend this from Husky. So, anyway, that's that. Okay, early review. Um, not super happy, I'm going to be honest. Now, it could just be that drywall is real tough on, on blades. Could be. But, all I've done is cut the channels for all these uh, joints, butt joints. And I've already flipped it to both sides. And just this last time, it was not even cutting the paper of the drywall. So I'm not sold on these, um, obviously I'll use the rest of the pack as I need to, but um, as far as drywall goes, drywall beat it up pretty good. Use a cup instead of just pouring it. Start off with that. Uh, see. A while ago, I wanted a bucket scraper, basically. Now I know they they make them, or at least I think I've seen them. Uh, but I just used one I had on hand already, and just cut a contour. It doesn't. Quite fit. It's good enough. That might be too much water. Okay, that's that's probably heavy enough. Okay, one of the reasons I'm choosing this wall is first of all for practice. Second of all, it's going to be all covered up with the boys' bunk beds. Uh, so, I can make all my mistakes on this wall.
know that looks terrible, but that looks good. The trickiest part for me is getting all the mud on your uh, blade here and trying to get it all evenly spread out and then come up. Or you could do it the opposite way, you come up and then go down. But what I'm trying to do is get all all of the screws all at once rather than just doing each one individually. If that makes sense. Alright, let's try this one. Oops. Already ruined it. Ah. I think that time I was because I was going down. That's why. But nevertheless I accomplished what I wanted, so I guess that's a win, I suppose. All the pre-filling is done and all of the filling of the screw holes are done. So now what I'm going to do is start um, paper taping uh, using the paper tape here. And I went out and got this thing because I felt like not only will I be using it for this uh, room, but we're also going to be doing our room and our youngest's room. And a uh, little teaser here, um, we'll be doing similar things to the barn once we get the barn um, structurally in a place where it ought to be. And uh, that renovation takes um, shape. And so basically what I'm saying is I got a lot of drywall in my future. All right, enough talking, let's get going. So I got my brother-in-law helping me today. Uh, he is getting a respirator right now. We're gonna attack the first round of feathering and hopefully we do a decent job. Again, compared to professionals, uh, this is probably laughable what we do today, but we're gonna do our best and hope for the best. And if we don't do a great job, I'm gonna have a lot of sanding on my hands. And here he is! <laughs>
now is sand what we've done so far and then add hopefully one more round of feathering. And so, because I don't think that's really very exciting, um, we're just gonna end the video here and thank you for watching. We really appreciate it and uh, we'll see you on the next one.